Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. Today we are taking a look at how far I've gotten so far with the Fletcher class destroyer. So let's go ahead and take a little mini tour of what's going on. So yesterday I, I did not make a video. I was not feeling well and I pretty much slept through the day. So uh, yeah, missed a video. But today I thought we would go ahead and visit what I've done on the ship um, and uh, kind of the, um, the rooms that are starting to take shape inside of the ship because I'm trying to do the interior, like all of the interior, not like exactly historically, in, you know, correct interior, but uh, at least the right stuff in the right rooms, if possible. So let's just go ahead and, and take a look at where we are so far on this top deck. Uh, in here, we have a supply room with some fans on the right side, left side, I guess right side if you're facing this way, is another uh, area here. That looks odd. Oh, must have been, <laughs> I must have had the, uh, what you call it, the mirror on. So those shouldn't be there. So there's a fan. And then if we come in here, this room will be uh, the loading. I guess I don't know what it's actually called, but it's like where they pass the ammo up to the uh, five inch gun up top. So that'll be there. Uh, over here, we have the ward room and it is a lot smaller than it should be. It's kind of compact and I've done that because I've had to push this wall forward to fit in the uh, the CIC. Well, the CIC is not built yet, but at least where it should be. So if we come in here, you'll see we have a way to go down. We have a way to go up. Uh, this will be the radio room equipment room. Okay, we have a small area here. This should actually be closed off with doors, but I think I'm just going to leave it like this. Now if we come in here... We have where the CIC will be, again, a bed, because I had mirror mode on. But this will be the CIC area, and this should be bigger. There actually should be, like, a pantry back here uh, on this wall, and then the CIC equipment goes in here. I think I'm going to kill the pantry, because there's just not enough room. I've tried to squeeze the walls together, but it's just, I don't know. Maybe it's the thickness of the blocks, it just makes everything real difficult. So, we're not going to do that. So, that should be CIC right here. This wall should not be here. There's a small uh, radar room in there. And then, yeah, CIC will be here with all the stuff. Uh, over here is the captain's uh, kind of like mini bedroom where he kicks back to the bathroom and a shower over there when he's on duty. And then, yeah, let's get out of here. And uh, I don't think we can go, well, we go up here. But I don't think I go all the way up yet. No, we don't go all the way up yet. This is still a work in progress, so forget that. Uh, I don't think there's anything else back here in the back done. No. It's very large. Okay, so let's go back to the front. There's a break water. Okay. And all the way to the front. So I've started to do this area here. So we can go down in here. Oops. Go down in here. This is the windlass room, and so we've got the equipment kind of starting to get done here. So that pink thing, like a chute that the chain would go down into the floor, and then that's provision stores down there, the bosun's locker here with all the repair equipment, and then if we come back here, uh, this is CPO mess room, which is not done, CPO quarters, which is really not done. And if we come back, uh, small cruise head, not done. Nothing's done. Okay, and then we come down here. We have crew berthing down here. More crew berthing in here. And there we go. I don't know what goes here, I forget. But there's lots of stuff that goes in each one of these rooms. And then, uh, yeah, so you can hear the boilers on. Let's go through the wall real quick. All right, so this is, I believe, the rear engine room. And so that is our turbine on this side. And then there's a forward uh, engine room that looks similar to this, except the turbines are, of course, on the right side. Uh, this is an electric turbine for giving lights and charging batteries. And uh, again, just all, just all kind of placed here, no details. This is where the water would be uh, recycled from the steam engines. So I'm kind of using whatever pictures and information I can find from the USS Kid and the USS uh, Cassian, I think is the name of it. Okay, so let's go back up and let's just 
notice some difference here. So this is going to be an early war Fletcher. So it does have the torpedo tubes in the center. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, right there. Right there. Don't know if I'm going to make those actually functional. It'll just be props. Probably a lot of this ship is going to be props just to keep pivots to like, you know, zero uh, as possible. All right, let's just go and check out the bridge real quick and see how it's coming along. Uh, so this is a bridge which is slowly coming along. I don't know who made that. I got to give credit to that. Uh, but that's going to be like the compass there. That's going to be your speed direction. And oh, just so you know, you're not going to have to go down to the bottom. I, I get why people like doing that, but as Ask someone else said, you know, not a lot of people are going to be playing on this vessel. If it ever gets into multiplayer, I don't know if it will be able to, but it's not going to be like a whole crew. It's going to be, a, you know, two to four people. Maybe, maybe four would be nice. Uh, so you're not going to go down and change the boiler rooms and all that stuff. It'll be located probably back here. You know, all your engine stuff. I haven't quite finished with this. Uh, so it's going to be up here. So you'll be able to control your engines, uh, rear and front boiler rooms from up here and, you know, see what's going on down below. So yeah, that's going to be a thing. Yeah, I mean, you can also go down there and turn it on if you want, but for the most part, everything will be controlled up here, which makes it nice and easy. Okay. Right now I can't actually get the ship moving because I actually deleted the, uh, control for the engine. So I have to put that back on, but back here is unfinished. And I don't remember what goes back here. Is it hydrophone? Sonar? I don't remember. Maybe that's all back in the CIC. I don't know. But uh, anyways, as I was saying, I was, I'm was i taking all the data that I can get from the two ships because they are alive and well. So there are pictures of different rooms. There's a little bit of schematics of like where things are. But of course, the ships are slightly different because they're from different years. And this one's from a different year as well. So I'm kind of taking what fits in my ship and putting it in. So rooms might not be historically correct or doors, but for the most part, I think they're coming along. So like, for example, uh, one of these doors here. Oh yeah. Okay. So here's, here's a good example. So in the ward room, these walls here and this one, there's like a giant door that I think is built into this door. And it will open up but i'm not doing that because that requires you know different kinds of doors and i'm scared to get my frame rate bad so i'm going to put a door here and i'm going to just put a, another door there and let you go through here if you want so yeah so things like that just little things where it's like not worth uh you know killing the frame rate again all these guns are static that's why the frame rate is amazing so yeah so yeah, yep, 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 yep. So I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, things are just coming along slowly. I've been working on the engines for quite a while. Uh, Alyosha gave me an engine, steam engine, and uh, I've been modifying it to give enough power to go 36 knots. And so the ship can reach 36 knots. Uh, it is not zero to 60 in six seconds, which means it's it doesn't speed up, you know, that fast. So it feels pretty realistic, maybe a little bit slow when it comes to slowing down, it takes time for it to burn off the steam. So I might add some kind of thing that like releases the steam and slows it down a bit faster. Cause right now it can take like 30 seconds to, to stop or more depending um, what we got down here. I don't know. Some of these are like weapons locker, I think. Oh, ammo locker. Or is that back here? I don't know. Oh, not done. Ammo locker? I thought I installed one. Maybe you. There we go. Ammo locker. Yeah, so that was for these side guns here. These are K-guns. K-guns? Is that what they're called? K-guns? I think they're K-guns. They, they basically launch uh, depth charges off the side. So, not finished. I'm going to probably rip off uh, Eggnog's uh, launcher because it works. But again, it uses pivots. So we'll see what happens with that. I don't know. I, I'm so against pivots because I want to be able to play with this in multiplayer. So... I keep keeping it as simple as possible. None of these guns move. None of them. It's just not worth the frame rate kill. So what I think I'm going to do is probably, if I want to use this in a Convoy 1943 thing, we'll have depth charges, of course, because we need to have them. And maybe I'll have this one gun function. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. 
Maybe that one gun will function. So, yeah. So anyways, again, I will be doing quicker videos. Maybe, you know, like, maybe a spotlight on a certain vehicle. Stuff like that. Because the Stormy Award voting comes to an end this week. And then there's a lot of work that has to be done. So I'm going to try to keep it very simple with the videos. So I apologize if they're going to be short or uh, be a little bit less interesting than usual. But... You know, at least you will get a video while I'm working on the Stormy Awards and getting everything ready for December 17th, 2022. So anyways, I'll keep working on this in between there just because it's relaxing to do it like right before bed. Kind of just go ahead and build on this thing and then go to bed and I don't know. It's always nice to build something without worrying about if I'm going to finish it or not or I have to finish it. It's just a fun project and uh, it's looking good. It's relaxing. So yeah. So this is the Fletcher Class Destroyer. Not available yet, and still in production. As you can see, a lot of room to fill, and those rooms may kill a frame rate. We will find out. I'll keep testing it and let you know, and uh, see what happens. So if we can get through building this without any pivots first, and then test the frame rate, and then go back and see what it's like, maybe... I don't want to empty it out. Mm, I don't know about that. But I may empty it out, and then go ahead and go back and test the frame rate with that. Because I'm trying to figure out what kills the frame rate we know pivots kill the frame rate right we know sub bodies kill the frame rate but i don't know if internal structures uh impact the frame rate now somebody told me that they don't because they're enclosed so it doesn't have as much impact as say something on the outside of the enclosed area but i'm not sure but there is a lot to go on the inside there's a lot of rooms uh and equipment rooms and birthing and kitchens they didn't call them kitchens they call them mess halls right so there's a couple of mess halls in there there's storage uh for fuel storage for water just they're just different rooms that need you know to have stuff in them so i'm gonna go ahead and try my best to get those installed and uh see what happens with the frame rate and maybe it'll be a cool ship to play in the convoy 1943 i doubt it i hope but i doubt it it might be just a museum ship that you'll be able to load up and look around anyways that's it for today if you haven't done so already hit the bell so it goes ding dong when i upload a new video and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and i will see you next time